history, I remembered the words of the brilliant Polish-American lawyer Raphael Lemkin, the man who coined the word genocide. He wrote of our tendency to simplify genocide and mass atrocity. Sadly, he was correct. We see this tendency still today. Dismissal, fault shifting, and debate over whether an atrocity meets the definition of genocide. But there is nothing simple about this crime. It is as complex as it is insidious, and it is systematic and rooted in historical ignorance. Genocide was not an evil gift bestowed upon humanity by a single nation. The crime's history long predates its having been given a name. The crime's history long predates its having been given a name. To simplify it is to do the victims of this evil a great disservice. We must look beyond 1941 without the context of the pogroms that ravaged this same land in the 1760s or the early 19th century, would these more modern crimes have been possible? We need to understand it. We need to be vigilant against it. And we must do everything within our human capacity to mean it when we say never again. This is precisely why courses such as this are central to all we do and to all of us. I am incredibly proud of our partnership with the Elie Wiesel Institute and others on Holocaust education and increasing tolerance. But you hearing me today are teachers, and we will never directly reach the countless lives you help shape through education. It is incumbent upon you all to impart the overarching wisdom and the individual vignettes that you will learn through this course and through working alongside entities such as the Olga Lengiel Institute. That is how we ensure the lessons of our recent past are not forever lost. How else will we know the systemic devaluation and the humanization of others around us if we do not know its signs and harbingers? Thank you for what you do. Thank you to the Olga Lengiel Institute, the Ellie Wiesel Institute, and all who strive to make sure the lessons of our past are not forgotten. You have been listening to our regular weekly feature, In the Spotlight. Until next time, from me, Daniel Bills, it's goodbye and good listening. Next on Radio Romania International. Simply Folk. Welcome to Simply Folk with Nila Camera Simeon. Florentina and Petra Giurgi represent the Romanian traditional song of Mara Mureș in the north of Romania. They met while in school about 50 years ago and have been inseparable ever since, forming an exceptional couple both on stage and in the private life. The two traditional music singers have kept unaltered the traditional rhythms of Mara Mureș, the specific instrumental sounds of the region, the colorful dress and the good will being always a charming appearance. Listen to them now with the song Being in the World.
And with that, our broadcast in English for listeners in North America, the West Coast, and in Southeast Asia, being from India, has come to an end. You can listen to our next program for North America, the West Coast, tomorrow at 300 hours CDC on 7375 kHz and 9850 kHz. And to our next program for Southeast Asia, being from India at 530 UTC on 21550 kHz and 17760 kHz. We can also be heard on the Internet at www.ri.ro channel 1. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write an email at engl at ri.ro. Goodbye.